in the backyard of your old farm in the summer. Hey, hi everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome back. Yeah, this video is just going to be like what I did this summer, what happened, where I have been. I got back to the US probably about 14 days ago, but I was only home in my actual house in Maryland, like the, I live in the DC area, uh, like my actual house for four days. So it has just been like the most chaotic summer ever. But now I am, I will explain where I am. Now I'm just going to get right into the video. First off, I want to thank you guys for the reception of my four part study abroad series that I did. I took my time really making those videos. I haven't had a chance to respond to all the comments. I'm really gonna try and go back and do all of that. But I just wanted to say thank you that if I miss your comment or if it, I don't know, YouTube does weird things sometimes. Thank you so much for saying the nice things that you did or liking the videos because those really meant a lot to me and I could see that people were taking things away that like I wanted them to. So that was just really cool and really special for me, especially at a time of transition when I was leaving Scotland, which I am gonna talk about now because I I am not in Scotland. <laughs> Most of you guys follow my channel probably because you're looking at the University of Edinburgh and you like found me somehow or you're looking to study abroad. Uh, that's great, but you know what's kind of weird? I'm not studying abroad anymore and I'm not in a gap year, which if you're like a real OG subscriber, I started my channel because I was taking like a COVID gap year away from college and then I studied abroad. So now I'm actually back like in college. It starts probably next week, so I will maybe be doing some content about the college I go to. I go to the College of Charleston in South Carolina, and I haven't been here in two and a half years, and I have to start my life over again for a year. In a way, I feel like I'm studying abroad, but like in a place I've been before because it's just like, it's just like the same energy, but it's different. And somehow the culture shock here is worse than when I moved to a whole nother country, but we'll get into that in future videos. But yeah, just an update, that's where I am. I've been pretty much off of social media. I'll tell you, I will tell you why I have been off of social media. After, okay, so the, this summer, right? <laughs> this, this summer, I just, I did a little traveling. So my parents came to Scotland for about three weeks because they had never been and we did the Highlands, we did Isle of Skye again. I had been like on like a little like excursion trip. There's a whole video about it. We went again, it was so beautiful. And I just really wanted to spend some time in the moment because I was documenting pretty much all of my study abroad. Not all of it because there were lots of parts of my life that I didn't really show because studying abroad is moving to a new city. So like, you don't want to like make new friends and then be like, hey, can I, film you real quick. I just really wanted to like really put the camera away and just enjoy life for a little bit because it very much felt like a once in a lifetime experience to be there with my parents. And then after my parents left, my best friend, one of my best friends, Andrea. Andre. <laughs> I actually look way better in this camera than I do in that bathroom mirror. Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> You're like, oh, I look good. <laughs> yeah. No, that bathroom is a curse. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Makes you look bad. Okay. Came over and we met in Prague and started our hot girl summer. <laughs> Except it wasn't hot girl summer in that sense. It was hot girl summer in the fact that we got fevers and we had no AC some places. I'll get into that. So yeah, me and my friend Andrea, we traveled across Europe, Europa. <laughs> we met in Prague and we traveled for about a month or so, a month, I would say, or a little over a month, definitely over a month. But we started in Prague, we went to Vienna, Turin, Italy, Barcelona, and Portugal, which was so fun. If you're ever gonna travel across Europe with somebody, make sure it is like a ride or die friend because in terms of friendship, like we are married now, like she cannot get rid of me. 
and I think that we know like way, way, way too much about each other. Surprisingly, our friendship is still intact, very much so, because if you think that if you, you just, you better like the person. I think that's probably a good way to see if you should get married to somebody is to just travel for a month with them and like see how it goes, because that, that is really the true test of any relationship. Yeah, we had such a good time. However, in Vienna, this is, these are like some of our like travel, just like travel, little travel ad adventures. We get to Prague by like day two or three, she starts noticing like she has these weird little bumps on her hands. And um, I was totally gaslighting her for like a week. I was like, eh, you're fine. I was being toxic. And I was like, oh, like you're fine. You're just, it's just maybe just a blister or something, you know, weird going on. I, I personally struggle with like hand eczema sometimes. So I was like, oh, maybe you're just getting that. And she started noticing them on her feet. And we were like a little more concerned, but I was just kind of like, oh, maybe you're just getting like blisters. Cause they, they just looked like blisters. Yes, I did look at her foot blisters. This is what I mean. You get close with somebody. Then we were going to Vienna and she wasn't really feeling good on the train, but the train was really hot. The train had no AC from Prague to Vienna, so we were just sort of vibing. She wasn't feeling great like the first couple of days, but then she sort of started to get better. And we we did have like one day where we were like, oh, like do you have monkeypox? Like we really just, we we looked up the symptoms because we were like, oh, weird spots on your hand. What could that possibly be? Monkeypox, right? It wasn't monkeypox. We were fine. But so then, I start to get what I think is strep throat when we get to Italy. So we're in Turin in our Airbnb and I am like, I'm literally on Zoom with an Italian doctor who was so nice and he's prescribing me strep medication. I start taking antibiotics and then the next day we're out and about. I'm like, I'm just feeling the same. I like the strep is not getting better and if you've never had strep before or started taking medication, like usually by like day one or two, you start to feel pretty like much immediately better, at least in my, that's the way my body has reacted to it. Actually, there's like, there's like a couple of things that happened during this day. During the same day, my phone was stolen in a market in Turin. One thing I will say about Turin, beautiful city. The food was so good. There was not a person in sight who spoke English. We really, we just said, oh, not the touristy spot that we're gonna go there. And we did that. However, I was just a walking target for, um, I just looked like a big foolish tourist the whole entire time. And so I did get pickpocketed. My phone was taken, I believe in like an outdoor food market. I'm getting back to the other part of the story about what was wrong with us. So phone gets stolen. We go to a bar, we get Aperol spritzes because what else are you supposed to do when you, your phone gets stolen? And so we're sitting in the bar. I start to notice that I have little bumps all over my hands. And then I look at my feet and they're all over my, my feet too. I start Googling things because then now I'm like, okay, you definitely had something because now I have these same weird little bumps. So turns out we somehow contracted hand, foot and mouth disease in Prague, or she maybe she got it on the plane or something. And very, very odd experience. Still haven't gotten COVID somehow, but I did, we did get hand, foot and mouth disease in Italy and she had it in Vienna and Prague, but yeah. So then I stopped by antibiotics and I just basically <laughs> take like ibuprofen for a couple days and I was, I was pretty much fine. But um, that is what happened and Basically for two and a half weeks, I didn't have a phone. So my friend was really great and she, you know, basically had to do everything because if you don't have a phone in this day and age, like it's really hard to even know what time it is. Like I was really, I was really lost. I didn't have a phone. I had no way to upload videos. And then I sort of, I was gonna make videos about where we were going, but then I sort of, I was sort of, sort of nervous to take my camera out after I had been pickpocketed. And I was like, you know what? It's just not worth the stress because when I get home, if my camera gets stolen, like that's a much bigger problem because of like phone insurance. I don't have camera. I don't even know if you can get camera insurance. I have no idea. You know, for those two and a half weeks, I read a lot of books. I definitely feel the phone addiction more potently when you haven't had your phone for two and a half weeks and then you get it back. It very much feels like an active addiction. So I need to maybe do some things to quell 
all of that. So now I am in Charleston. This is my apartment. I have a new roommate. I just met her a couple of days ago. She's out right now. So I'm like do, do, doing my weird YouTube stuff at this moment. Feels like I don't want to scare her too, too immediately with all of this, but it feels super weird to be back at school. I haven't actually started school yet, but man, uh, yeah, it just goes to show you that just COVID just keeps sort of messing up college. <laughs> in a different way because now I'm here and I basically have to like start my life over once again, which I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm like a little bit tired of doing, but the only thing I can do is have a positive attitude and keep flying forward and try and get involved. And I wanna maybe make some kind of like video series or video about what it's like moving to new places because I feel like I, I have lived here in this city before, but I've sort of had to start over a lot and uh, I think that might be an interesting thing to cover on this channel. So I will definitely be doing more videos about Edinburgh and study abroad because there are so many topics that I haven't really felt like I have, I guess like covered as in depth as I'd like to. So I'll probably be doing like another Q and A about Edinburgh and study abroad and those kinds of things before I sort of maybe move into like more of my life here. Yeah, stick around because I know I'm gonna be making videos about culture shock and like, I guess reverse culture shock. I don't even know. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you for watching and thank you for listening to this like weird rambly story time. This is just, I wanted to get like a little update up there before I start like getting into more like curated content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back regular now, so. Thanks for watching.